Good morning, students. Today we are going to read the lesson, The Sound of Music. It is a biography. The first part is Evelyn Glynn listens to sounds without hearing it. Yes, this lesson speaks about Evelyn Glynn. She is able to listen to music and compose music without hearing it. Isn't it really great? So let's see. The story begins. Evelyn is waiting for the train. She is going to Royal Academy of Music. She is going to perform there and she is just 17 years old. By her appearance, she looks even younger. The most amazing part of it is she is deaf. Now, the history begins. When she was just 8 years old, her mother noticed that something was wrong because when she was waiting to play piano, her name was called out. But mother understood that she did not hear it. Evelyn, she could hide her deafness from her friends and teachers for some years. But later on, when she was 11 years old, her teachers said that her scores in tests are dropping. She is not able to hear. Please consult a specialist. So, her mother took her to a specialist and the specialist said that she had problem in a nerve and she is not able to hear. So, they recommended her that she should take admission in a deaf school where the deaf children take their academics. But Evelyn was persistent and she wanted to lead a normal life. She told her mother that I want to lead a normal life and I have great interest in music. I would love to learn xylophone. Now, xylophone, the teachers discouraged her that she will not be able to learn xylophone. But one of the teacher, Ron Forbes, he recognized her great potential and said that I would teach you how to play xylophone. Ron Forbes used to play tabla and drums. So, he said that don't listen music, please feel music, learn through vibrations and he would play different notes and she would feel vibrations. She was able to feel those vibrations. She would even remove her shoes so that if it is a wooden flooring, she could feel vibration through her feet, through her hands, through her skin everywhere. She was a great learner and she learned music. When she was 16 years old, she toured UK with youth orchestra and let me tell you one more thing about her. Music was her life. She auditioned for the Royal Academy of Music and there a wonder happened. She scored the highest marks in the history of the academy. No one had ever scored the marks she had scored. That was the great miracle, a deaf girl scoring the highest marks. In her lifetime, she had captured most of the top awards. And... She had the philosophy in her life. She used to say, if you work hard and know where you are going, you will get there. That was her philosophy. She got mastery of thousand instruments. She was able to play more than thousand instruments. 
she watches the whole face means it's said that how she is able to understand the person who is speaking so she says that she is able to understand because till 11 years she was able to hear and she has some problem when a person has beards because she uh, is able to understand by looking at the face so she says that eyes and lips the whole facial expression matters in 1991 she backed solace of the year award the prestigious award that was backed by her it is said by james blade that james blade said god may have taken her hearing but he has given her something extraordinary she is able to feel instead of hearing so it is said that she is great people admire her she gives she has given enormous pleasure to millions how she has given enormous pleasures to millions because she is a girl who had composed music and everyone loves the music that she had composed and the other physically disabled people say that if evelyn can do it why can't i so she is the role model of the students thank you students